Yeah, talk about supporting good causes. Yeah. Of course, we know there are so many great organizations here in town, including over at Rady Children's Hospital. They support so many patients right now and their families. CBS 8, proud to help light the way. Yeah, our very own Eric <laughs> Connor live at the Rady Children's Hospital Ice Rink at Liberty Station. And Eric, uh, you've got training camp going on right now. Right? Uh, <laughs> hockey about to hit full swing here. Or uh, show us what, what these, uh, these young ladies got. Yeah, guys, I'll never forget five, six years ago, the first time my boys came out to this rink surrounded by palm trees, how magical it looks. There's lights on these trees. I mean, we're not far from the ocean. It's super comfortable out here. This is a nice size rink. It's not like a full size NHL rink, but there's plenty of room to move here. It doesn't matter if you're a hockey player, doesn't matter if you're a figure skater or if you know how to skate. Come down here, raise some money for a good cause. It's only 20 bucks to get on the ice of your adult, 15 for kids and military. And uh, they've raised $2 million over the past 25 years to help uh, kids at Rady Hospital. And we have Alex now from Rady here uh, joining us to tell us a little bit about why this rink is so special and all of the, the good that it does. It is special. We're really excited for today's opening and for the fundraising that it brings for our hospital. It's important for us to provide the very best care for all of our patients and ensure that they have a long and healthy life. We have wonderful examples of that here with us today. We do, and of course, we're at Liberty Station, hence the uh, airplanes, right? And Martin, how are you doing? I'm Tell doing us a little well. bit about your story. And by the way, happy birthday to you, buddy. Thank you very much. 25 today, it. right? 25, which marks a very special occasion. So uh, back in 2000, I was diagnosed with cancer when uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And I've been with Radies ever since then, so it marks 22 years. And to say now that I'm 25, I could say, that I wouldn't be here were not for the wonderful people at Radies who have been with me every step of the way. And it's one of the big reasons to come out and support something that Radies is doing out here is because of how much they contribute to, to all their patients. Yeah. Every single one is very well cared yeah. for. Every single professional that works over there at Radies almost feels like family whenever you go there. It's almost become a second home to me. And if, if I could, if I could do more than just say words to help, to help bring that, bring them together, then, yeah. then I would. But, uh, well, I'm we nervous. are so happy you're here with us. Uh, tell us about how you're feeling now. How things are going now? Things are going great. So, uh, ever since I've been with Radies, I've successfully gone through high school. I graduated from college, yeah. and now I'm back here at home studying uh, awesome. at USD and getting my graduate degree. So it's been. It's been a long journey, and Radies has been with me every step and, of the and way. And this is why people, when they come out to the rink, this is the funds that it goes to, the people like yourself, helping people like you, uh, kids in the hospital, and uh, have long, healthy lives, right? It gives them awesome. hope. It gives them something to think about. It gives them something to move forward with. There you go. And that's that's why it's so important coming out to events like this. Yeah. It's, it's so wonderful to be able to contribute to something like awesome. that. Awesome. So well, I really, appreciate I really you sharing appreciate your story it. with it. Quite an inspiration. And folks, that's what all of this goes to. All these funds uh, help people uh, that are in the hospital, people like Martin's situation. To uh, come out here and to share that is, is really impressive. We really appreciate it. We want to check in with our uh, figure skaters here. Are you guys ready? You guys made me do some figure skating earlier. So now I had to give you guys some hockey sticks to see if uh, you're uh, in tune with my sport. Okay, so come on over here. Who do we have first here? Uh, Mia. Mia, Jamie, and? Kendall. And Kendall. Okay, Mia, go ahead and take a couple shots here. Each of you get one puck and we'll see how you girls do. Okay, here comes the first shot. She's a right-handed shot. She leans back. It's a, just a warm-up, folks. That was just a warm-up. And here's the slap shot. Oh, she scores! All right, Jamie, you're up next. Come on up. Wow, you set the bar high there. Okay, here we go. Again, these are figure skaters that are, oh, that was super close. She hit the net. All right, one last puck here before we got to send it back to the studio. And here's the shot. Wow, impressive, impressive uh, shots here from our figure skating friends over at San Diego Ice Arena. Girl, great Thank job great. for coming out. Great job. What an incredible experience it's been out here, uh, meeting people. Bring your friends, bring your family. Start the yeah. holidays off here. Yeah. It runs now until January 8th. It's not open Thanksgiving or Christmas, but it's open 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So if you like the morning skate, come out mm -hmm. here at 10 a.m. If you like to see all the twinkling lights and how awesome it is here at night, <laughs> it's open until 10 o'clock. So I it's just it. a great experience. The admission fee and 
include skates too. So I know you guys will be coming out here soon. Yes, we'll see I've you soon. I've got pucks. I've got sticks. I've got skates. Oh. We'll oh. be putting you to the test. Okay. Can't I thought wait. we would be doing pinwheels. I guess we're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll try, Eric. We'll try. No we're promises do a of that, that yeah. we'll stay upright. So <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much, Eric. It's been fun to see you out there in your element. Obviously.